Hi, this is Beth in Texas, and I am here to give you a quick tip video on working single crochet and tarja. With single crochet and tarja, what you're doing is you're working in blocks of color. I do have a video on how to do a simple heart chart, and there's several different methods that I have when reading that chart. Well, I am working on Jamie Storr's um, ASL sign language alphabet chart. So there are just different things that people find very irritating about doing in Tarja. And one of them is how your balls of yarn are always getting tangled. Well, this is what I've done is I get a tray. In this case, I got a piece of cardboard that fits the size of my project bag. And you lay your balls of yarn out onto your tray or piece of cardboard and then as you're working then all you have to do when you change colors is to rearrange the balls. Now this I moved from my craft room out here to where I'm filming so they did get tangled a little as I moved it. If I had a larger tray this would have not tangled so much. So anyway, so if you lay them out in pretty much the order that you work them in. Okay, and now I'm ready to turn my work. Instead of picking up my work and all the balls swing around and get tangled, I lay the work down on top of my tray, on top of the balls, and I turn the entire tray around. And now I can pick up my loop down here. What do you do when you want to put it in a yarn bag and move it to a different place? Well, you lay it wrong side up because all your balls are going to come off the wrong side. You don't move your balls to the right side of the work. And I just, um, in order, just lay the balls on the back of the work like so. Let's see, the next one's this black one. So if even if it's over a ways, kind of put them together there's not much left on this one but wind them up now if you've ever had a rolled sandwich or roll up a I don't know made a bed roll for camping and you keep all your pillows and stuff in your bed roll this is kind of the same thing okay I'm almost there I got a couple more balls to go on this end now, of course, you can't do this until you get enough rows done that are at least the width of your balls. Okay, now I'm going to start at one end and just kind of roll tightly, but you don't want to stretch anything. And just roll it, keeping the balls onto the back of the work. Roll it up. Now, I got this one here sticking out, so I'm going just to tuck that down in there. And then I take a yarn needle and kind of make sure everything's kind of tucked in. Stretch it just a little bit. It's okay to stretch it a little. You don't want to distort it. But, and pin it in place. And now I can put this in my yarn bag without my balls become, being tangled and out of order. And then when you get back out again, you just simply pull out your yarn needle. I'm just going to keep mine right here in this edge. And then you carefully unroll it. And all your yarn will still be there in the order you need it to be. And then you get out your tray or a piece of cardboard. And then you place all your balls on the back on the tray like you had before. So I hope these little tips helped you, and um, tell me in the comments if you've ever tried using an intarsia technique and how you handled keeping your balls from tangling. Yeah, if you have any other tips, that would be wonderful. Post it in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Happy crocheting!